Bronson Reed finally making huge waves. And we take a look in today's Unmissable. The world is watching. Hi guys, I'm Dave in Real Life and welcome to today's Unmissable. Is Bronson Reed starting to make huge waves inside WWE? Uh, for me personally, I think it's long overdue. The former NXT star has struggled a little bit in recent months on the main roster. Uh, not quite getting to the big shows. Uh, not really been taking part in the PL keys like he should do. Uh, some wrestlers are like this. Some just do the Monday Night Raws and don't, never really break free from that for a while. But I feel like the story is now starting to build up for Bronson Reed. Obviously, we've seen him on an absolute tear of destruction these last two weeks. Firstly, taking out Seth Rollins with more than a four, I believe it was four or five to Sami's. Uh, literally devastating, breaking uh, Seth Rollins' ribs. Kayfade, of course, Seth Rollins taking time out for many, many other injuries uh, and issues that he's got in his private life. But honestly, storyline, Bronson Reed breaking his ribs. And then last Monday, we saw poor old R-Truth getting the same treat treatment. And I don't know how long he's going to be on the shelf for, uh, Kayfade-wise, a couple of weeks at least. But yeah, honestly, uh, the last two weeks have been all the Bronson Reed show. And it's really good to see him finally getting his uh, chance on the main roster. Uh, yeah, hopefully this leads to a, a good big feud with him and Seth Rollins further down the line once he's back uh, in action. But yeah, I feel like uh, we can keep building up this monster, absolute monster heel in the mid card. And this could be huge for Bronson Reed going forward as well. And could see him getting even more opportunities, especially with the IC Championship. Uh, in the, the distance at the moment with Braun Breaker. I mean, if they ever need to turn Braun Breaker face, Bronson Reed is the guy to enable that to happen. So, yeah, absolutely excited for what they're doing with Bronson Reed right now. Obviously, yeah, he's uh, come up from the NXT to the main roster, has been bumpy at best of times. Obviously, he did get released uh, when everybody else was getting released, uh, when Vince McMahon was still involved in the company, uh, which was a big body blow for him, I felt like. It was certainly the wrong move at that time. I mean, they got rid of uh, Keith Lee, Karrion Cross. Uh, it was just stupid that uh, the majority of them stars are now back in WWE. And course, Bronson Reed is back in WWE. Uh, since he's left, he went to TNA and became Jonah, which he had fairly successful time in TNA, not going to lie. But I feel that his uh, root, uh, roots were always in WWE. And I feel that Triple H is a big, massive fan of his anyway. So to see these last couple of weeks and him certainly taking the spotlight a little bit is fantastic. And like I said, he could be a perfect opponent for Braun Breaker further down the line. Obviously, when Seth Rollins comes back from injury, he is going to try and take out Bronson Reed for sure. But yeah, I think the interesting times for Bronson Reed... Uh, and I've, it's about time we've got somebody else up into the forefront on Monday Night Raw instead of the usual uh, the, the usual suspects that we get each and every week. So Bronson Reed, I, I'm absolutely over the moon for this guy. And hopefully this is uh, going to de develop into something quite interesting over the next couple of weeks. Let me know what you think of Bronson Reed's uh, run so far. And who could be the next victim of the uh, Tasamis? And, uh, of course, does he get that uh, title shot? And can he beat Braun Breaker? That is a massive question. Let me know in the comment section below if you're on board with the natural disaster that is a Bronson Reed. I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Until the next time, bye for now.